Hey, Shelly? Stuart? Hey, welcome back. Long time no see. <laughs> so I'm completely done for the night. I had way too much to drink. I knew there was a reason I stopped years ago. I can't believe how much time I've wasted here when I could have been home working on blood and sacrifice. I mean, we rehearsed it so well earlier. Stu and I kicked ass. Then Paul started bitching and moaning. So Stu said we should go to the bar. I had a few drinks. The bartender was weird. <laughs> then I threw up, broke my streak. There was a really cool singer. Then there were these crazy people. Then Paul was dancing. <laughs> and he left to go get some girl. I don't know how I know this, but I also felt Greg's presence in the area. Probably, probably wrong, but kind of felt like it. Then Stu started talking to some lady. Then he left to go talk with his agent. Then that crazy bitch slapped the shit out of me. And here I am. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Alright, I want to dedicate this next song to these two beautiful ladies over here. Along with this hunk of cheese. <laughs> Here goes. You're beautiful. Even though you have a slight mustache, you're wonderful. Hello, my friend. I hope you learned your lesson. I should throw you out. But you've gone through enough punishment. Have a Coke. And please, sober up. So this Sherry? Shelly. Shelly. Maybe she just needs a break. Yeah, I mean, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, Paul. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. You guys are right. I'm glad I got good friends like you tonight. Thanks. That's sweet. You're sweet. What's up, Shelly? How you doing? What do you want? You want to hurt me, too, like your dumbass friends? No, I'm just here to tell you about Paul. What do I care about Paul? Well, I know you've seen that psycho Steve. You could be much better off. Nope, I got rid of that lunatic too. He joined the military. Look. <laughs> Seems like a good place for him. But look, Paul is still crazy about you. He just won't shut up. I mean, seriously, he cannot get his mind off. Okay, who wants another drink? Anyone want to dance? I'm buying for everyone. Oh, sorry, sweetie, we have to go. Sorry, Patrick. Paul. Uh, Paul. Uh, okay. Um, maybe next time? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good All luck. Right. All right. Bye, girls. Nothing like a refreshing Coke to give me a nice sugar buzz. Man, dude, my head is messed up. I'm gonna regret tonight, tomorrow morning. Oh, man. At least it looks like Paul had a... Paul's all by himself? Not on my watch. Paul! What's up, man? Why are y'all alone? Where'd your bitches go? Hey, excuse me. Would you guys keep it down? I'm playing over here. Hey, how about you go home, screw your boyfriend, and screw yourself, all right? How about that? A boyfriend? Ha! Babe, come take care of these guys. What'd your bitch ass just say? Uh, have you met my friend Paul? He's a real nice. Saw this coming. <laughs> bitch. 
So whatever you do, don't go on that bar, okay? They've both been drinking pretty heavily. That bar? Yeah. I wouldn't go in there. The lesbian bar. Well, that explains. Look, anyways, Paul is still crazy about you. You know, just give him a couple of weeks. He needs some time alone and uh, go on a date with him or something. I don't think so. He's just not the same. Oh, just look at it. It'll be a fun time, I promise you. He won't shut up about you. He just can't get his mind off of you. I'd rather find myself first. I didn't come to LA to deal with shitty boyfriends. Came here to be an actress. Wait, you're an actress? I'm an actor. Really? Yeah. How long have you been acting? Oh, my whole life. Tell you what, call my agent, Sharon Burkett. She's a trip. She's really cool though. She will get you some awesome gigs, I promise you. Thank you, Stuart. I'll definitely give her a call. Listen, I'm sorry I still have to hate you for associating with your dumbass friends, but I appreciate the talk. Anytime, anytime. I'm gonna fly this. See you later, Joe. What the hell happened? Dude, I don't know. Stuart, I've been looking for you. Your friends, get them out of here. And Stuart, don't bring them back, ever. Okay, Bart, um, sorry, man. Come here. I'm around. I'm around. Come on. God, come on. One step, all right? Well, that was fun. Yeah, all right. We gotta get this guy some ice. Mr. Hopkins and Mr. Rosewood, crime suspects, third party, December 1st, 2 a.m. We'll see who's smarter than Greg. I'm on to you, boys. Hey, where'd you park? Ah, oh, shit, dude. We parked down there. Oh. Wasted my whole night when I could have been writing and working. Drinking whiskey sucks. <sighs> Shit, what a night. Why did we go out drinking again? Oh, yeah. Paul was bitching again about Shelly. Well, from what I remember, Paul had a good time and talked to some new girls. Good for him. Good thing Stu was there. I was a mess. Oh, well. Had my fun. This guy again? God. Get out of here, man. Now it's back to the story of Dan Garcia and Blood and Sacrifice. It's almost done. Now let's see. I wonder if Dan drinks. 